Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Florida State Seminoles. Tonight we've got an interesting matchup at the shooting guard position. Number three is one of the best three-point shooters I've seen in a while. He's really fun to watch when he gets it going. On the other side, we have a young man that's known for his ability to shoot the basketball, Brad. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The Seminoles might be looking at the fight of the season tonight, Dick. Any particular keys to victory for them? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Next, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Finally, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. The five second count is getting close, Brad. He gets it to fall. Both teams looking to get things going here. The power forward gets the ball. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Strips the ball loose. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He takes it away. Fast break opportunity here. Looking for contact. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. The power forward with the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And the ball goes out of play. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Bend the low block. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post player. Did a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he did great inside position, has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Inside, he looks at the hoop. The small forward gets the pass. Tries a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. Fake. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Sinks it. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to pack it inside. Puts it up. Looking for contact. Goes up for two. Great 
play to take that to the basket. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? High post screen. And he'll kick it back outside. He takes the shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Let's it fly. The Yellow Jackets have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. Gotta think right now. Gotta focus defensively. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Here's a double team. Looks at a three. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one gun from the hot dog stand and not too long ago. On the dribble, gives it up. Fires away. Goes. Both teams are looking to get something going here. With anticipation defensively. Gave it up. The center takes the feed. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of play. He fakes the shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. the outside turns it over <laughs> on the dribble gives it up what a great steal defensive player was really right on top of that basketball Ball comes back out from the post. Out there, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Wide open for the shot. Gave it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He threw down that dunk and got the foul. That was powerful. Wow. He went right through the foul. Center takes the pass. Time to pick up the defense here now. Here they go into transition. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Let's see what happens here. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. The post flashes up high if he wants it. From right at the circle. Got it. Unloads 
a three. He makes the shot. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Steals a pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, the coaching staff has expected it to be evenly matched up across the board all night long. But you wonder, who's going to be the first one to throw the punch? On the dribble, gives it up. And the ball goes out of play. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot here's the toss back out for the post i tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer good defensive stand and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. With a bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The crowd really admires this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Fires it down. The Seminoles have a player spotting up on the three. He missed on the steal, that's gonna be the offense's game. Yes, sir, they got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. plays on the pass and he didn't get the steal oh he's humiliated poor job defensively let's go to the third member of our broadcast team here's Aaron Andrews well Brad and Dick the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup three game and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now the message get the ball inside guys they're doing that thanks Aaron I'll tell you Aaron's exactly right post play is essential if you're going to be effective he tries the three. You betcha. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll visit the charity strike. Gets that one. Second shot is good. He sinks them all. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. With the fake, gave it up. Got an open look if he wants it. Hard foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. To the charity strike. Gets the first. Gets the second shot. It's 
the third shot. Double team now, Matt Angler. On the dribble, gives it up. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Florida State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Oh, what a strip, Red. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the trap. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Fast break possibility coming with authority. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Gave it up. Fakes it. Now the high screen. Goes up for two. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. The kick out. He puts up the tray. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. They work the perimeter. Pushing that basketball. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. For a good shot. Picked out of the air. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big. That really, it's tough to deny him the ball. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. The fake. For two, the Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Dribble gives it up, moving it around the perimeter. The frustration right there. Gave it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The ball goes out of play. Mr. Nestle, here's a little something for the opposition. That to me is a no-no. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The Yellow Jackets have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. 
space in the game. Will take the shot. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> perimeter that spin moves not gonna work against this defense that's a no-no baby a defensive player beats him to the spot I tell you the jump hook so effective especially against a big post player very difficult to block that shot isolated on the outside they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper tries for two the double team couldn't get there. That's not how these boys practice that. He makes the block on the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Now they work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. Got the high pick. Gets it to go. They work the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. There's the screen up on top. Ten seconds to put it up. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Goes up for two. Oh, yes. Looking for a good shot. From right in the circle, way off target. Working it around the perimeter. He lets it fly. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They'll work it around the arc. Top of the circle. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. High post flashes for the opportunity. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Whistled for the, he takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they know that they're feeling it. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Lewis is pretty fired up and excited. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Full court pass. Here's a flash from the high post. Good fake. He lets it go. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. 
They're getting it from every spot on the court. The ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. And halftime, the Seminoles are up by one. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. State really coming up big from three-point land, Dick. Hey, the fire trucks are slow getting here. They are firing out and will. Dick, it's all about teamwork, and as we start the second half and take a look at our player matchup update, it's pretty even. I tell you what, not making mistakes, and both are doing a great job getting to the free throw line. I think that's been essential in their converting on the line. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Gave it up. For two, perfectly executed. That was absolutely phenomenal. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. On the top of the circle, Patterson makes a tray. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That was nice. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. around the perimeter from three-point territory drains it on the dribble gives it up he fouled him Nick how's that backcourt comparison shaping up do you think hey Brad that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves how can they as coaches get the most out of their guards are they quick enough to pressure the opponent or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. We'll have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. And he'll kick it back outside. Nice fake. Stolen. They push it up on the break. 
Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. On the outside. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Gave it up. He takes the shot. Drains the shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the dribble, gives it up. Here they come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. The ball goes out play. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Great play to take that to the basket. And yeah, we got a whistle on a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Pushes it up the floor, always looking. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. from a nylon in the end. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Gave it up. A high screen. Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Working it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. The Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. the rejection. There's a double team waiting there. Shoots it. Way off target. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gets it back out. Too physical. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against the defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Look at speed. I tell you, he'll go to the line after that vicious dunk, Dick. Vicious is right, Brad. That dunk brought me right out of my seat, baby. So 
He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. That's a 9 nothing run. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot. Hey, they no lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Player spotting up on the three. High post screen. So effective that screen. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. On the dribble, gives it up. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. They move it into the front court. Got some room. He looks for the bomb. Goes. For two. And in and out. Let's it fly. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Well, he's on fire. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're funny. Gave it up. He dials long distance. He nails the shot. Show the replay on that. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He fires it up. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. The Yellow Jackets are behind by 11. Too many dribbles and a steal. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. Times are changing, though, Brad. They have been more competitive of late on the basketball court. In the paint, number 42 with the fake. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. Pass 
down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. And that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Yellow Jackets are down by 12. Puts up the shot. The Yellow Jackets have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Entry pass in the paint. He was looking for the call, and he got it out himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Picked off. Long lead pass. Jumps in. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, not too many differences between these two players. Seems as though they're almost canceling each other out on the floor. This now could come down to which team is stronger. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. But he missed it. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They look like they're having a blast. He's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Intercepted. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. Puts it up, looking for contact. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. What kind of energy are we looking at after that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Takes away the pass. For the bucket. And he missed. And he scores it off the glass. He shoots from outside. Way off target. Oh. 
Looking for a good shot. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They tried to double team there, Dick. They were just a little late on the rotation. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get the great shot block right there. And some good movement on the offensive side. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Goes up for two. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. There's the pick for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Jumped in front to take it away. They're right on top of that pass. Tries for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. On the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. That shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. He rejects it. Picks off the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Looks at the three. Rims out. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. look from three-point land on the outside he launches the bomb it sticks replay please dump it inside the student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Makes it. For two, can't get the shot to drop. From downtown, buried it. around the arc. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Just locking on the box. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Game. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. He 
intercepts it. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He fires away. He gets the shot to fall. They're working around the perimeter. Too much. That's a foul. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. <laughs> Got to give that five-second call to the defense. Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Puts up the tray. Drains the shot. They're not giving him a chance to get it to transition. Great command of the floor. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Picked off. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. He buries the shot. Dick, you look back, it was a great matchup. We expected it to be, and it turned out to be everything we'd hoped for. I'll tell you one thing, the team has really responded as a unit, and they've taken advantage of the abilities of their stars. Florida State wins tonight in a blowout. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.